What's up? It's Gabby, and I'm back for my weekly check-in. I lost one and a half pounds this week. So that makes a total of 20 pounds lost since I started in July, which I'm pretty excited about. So I am halfway to my goal of 40 pounds lost by Christmas. I have a certain number I want to be at, like I mentioned last week, um, to put me under a morbidly obese on the BMI scale and also to put me back at my most recent low that I've been, which was in 2008. So I'm pretty excited. I'm glad that I'm continuing to lose even though I've not been completely really strict with my macros. Um, the latter part of the week, I started getting back more strict with my macros because I'm slowly getting out of this funk that I've been in. I'm looking forward to getting back to being motivated again, to being strict with my macros, and hopefully getting back to losing two and a half pounds a week again so that I can feel comfortable about meeting my goal by Christmas. As far as exercise goes last week, I walked Tuesday through Friday again and ended up skipping yesterday. Um, and then on this morning I did not walk either. It has gotten quite cold outside. And I knew I was gonna be a baby when it came to it being cold outside, especially early morning. And I am totally being a baby. And the other thing that I'm gonna do, I started today. I don't know if you guys have seen, but on Let's Chew the Fats channel, Mr. Dark Matter, he started a 30-day um, superset challenge. So the goal is to start slow and build your muscles up gradually because we're all trying to lose weight and we're probably not all in that great of shape. I know I'm not. So I think what he's saying is great. I think the plan he's got uh, laid out is fantastic and I'm very excited to do the challenge. So I started it today. The first week, like the exercises are like four minutes. Like that's all it took me. Uh, Tess asked a really great question in the comments because she has bad knees. I also don't have great knees. Um, she asked uh, for an alternative to squats because squats is one of the exercises in the challenge. And he answered and replied that scissor kicks would be good, I think is what he said. Check the comments for sure. Um, I'll link that video in, the, in my description below. But if you're interested in doing like a startup, like get starting to get your muscles built and starting to, you know, get back in real good shape, I highly recommend you check that video out because I think it's, it's gonna be really great. And I'm really excited to do it. So days one through six was 15 squats or scissor, ki scissor kicks. 15 second plank, which was way harder than I expected. I'd never done a plank before, but that was, that was difficult. Whew, remember to breathe, people. Um, and then 15 knee push-ups. So like you're on your knees, not full push-ups. And then two full push-ups if you can. I struggled, I'm not even gonna lie, I struggled with the full pu full push-ups and Bob tried to help me get through it and I did not do great, but I tried. So my I definitely have no upper body strength whatsoever. So yeah, you guys should join us if uh, you you wanna, if you're interested in, in working out and all that stuff and, and see if we can all like get strong together. That would be way cool. All right, so I wanted to show you guys, and I, I meant to show it, must, I meant to post this on Instagram, and I just never did, because I'm terrible at social media, apparently. But um, I found this last week at Target, last weekend, and I thought this was fantastic for us. It is a on-the-go lunch box. It's got, a hard boiled egg that's already peeled, 
salami, cheese, and some almonds. They're not salted, so may not be great. I have not tried this yet, but I thought this was a great and brilliant idea, and it's like, it was four fifty five with tax. And it's only two net carbs for the whole box. Two net carbs. So I thought this was really cool, like if you're in a pinch and you just need to grab something, or if you're going traveling and you just need a, something to grab for a meal, I thought this was awesome. Way cool, I was really surprised to see it there. And I think it's a great idea and I'm really glad to see it, especially in a place like Target. My dad tried it already, we got him one, while me and his wife were at Target and um, he liked it, he said it was good. I'll let you know if I can try it. And I told you guys that I would tell you my thoughts on the keto ketchup that I made last weekend from the Ketogenic Cookbook. And I think it's good. It's not the same as, you know, ketchup, regular ketchup. I don't know what I would change. I might need some different seasonings or something. It's not quite the same, but it definitely curves the craving for ketchup or having a condiment to dip something in, you know what I mean? So, I think it's good. I will continue making it. I might try to change it up a little bit and see what makes it better for me. And while we're on the topic of food, the lovely couple over at Couch Potatoes, it's a channel here on YouTube, they're also doing keto, and they put up a great video about keto-friendly candies. And it's very timely because it's Halloween, candies are everywhere. I don't know if you guys are having as much trouble passing the candy corn as I am in anywhere, <laughs> the grocery stores, Target, wherever. Um, I'm having a terrible time, but uh, they put a great video together of all of the sugar-free chocolate they have found. Um, most of it uses questionable sugar alcohols like maltitol and zorbitol. Um, Unfortunately, that's just what the big manufacturers use. I don't know why they can't use something else like erythritol or stevia, but if you're in a pinch, if you are dying, craving this, you know, Halloween candy, there are some great options out there for eating in moderation or else you will get a bad stomachache. Just a, you know, a cool video to check out if you're, you know, going crazy with all the candy around right now. I thought it was great. Uh, gave me some good ideas. I do have two suggestions to add as well because I definitely prefer to eat something without maltitol or sorbitol in it. But these things I can't buy in the store. Not I used to be able to buy these Lily's bars, these things. Um, at my local grocery store and they just stopped carrying them. I'm still upset about it. Uh, you can eat them at Whole Foods, maybe at the Fresh Market, I haven't looked. But these Lily Bars, I highly suggest. These are my two favorite. This is the original dark chocolate and this is the salted almond and milk flavor. These are fantastic. They're sweetened with erythritol, no sugar added, um, just really good. Erythritol and stevia. And they're certified gluten-free, so if you're into gluten-free, they're gluten-free as well. So those are really great. And then I've tried another sugar-free chocolate, also sweetened with erythritol before. It's Choco Perfection, I think it's called. And they have these little tiny chocolate mint um, candies, and they are so good. They're so good. Um, I actually was thinking about placing another order for those uh, recently because they're just really, really good. But again, you have to order those online. Um, it's not something you pick up in the stores. So what they put in their video, the candy they put in their video is something good to quick grab while you're at the store. I actually went and looked for some of the sugar-free candies just to see what options there are um, at my local Harris Teeter. They had some of the sugar-free Russell Stover's candies, which I'm just not interested in. Um, they had the some of the Werther's sugar-free candies, 
which I did end up picking up a package of the new chewy caramels. The first ingredient is maltitol syrup though. I only had one, it said the serving size was six. I was like, nope, I'm just gonna have one and be done with it and just let my craving be finished, you know what I mean? So that worked for me. I only had one. I know it's actually really good, it's tasty. I'm curious to see if they affect blood sugar, but I don't have a meter, so I don't know. I can't test it myself. But once I get a meter, I would definitely like to test that again. So I'll link to that video by the Couch Potatoes in my description below. Um, so you can check that out as well. I think it's really cool. And I'll also link to the Lily's Bars uh, website as well as the Chaco Perfection website, just in case you wanna look out for those. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I am looking forward to continuing on this 30 day challenge. I think it's great to have challenges to keep you motivated. I think it really does help me for sure. I will see you guys on Wednesday for what I ate on Keto Wednesday. And I will see you guys next Sunday for another weekly update. And let me know if you have any suggestions for candies that you have found that are, you know, sugar-free, low carb, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.